Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Today we've got another beer from Beer 52, a collaboration beer with Brewery Andes out in Belgium. This is part of their box for November and this is their Dorado Murky. Murky, without the E, I guess. As you can see, a New England IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV. Brilliant artwork by a guy called Con Consal Durate I think, he, I think I'm pronouncing that right, probably not he's based out in uh, Lisbon in Portugal so yeah cracking artwork this is the sister beer and also I didn't mention it on this review but same artist cracking so yeah there's. I've only just realised after reviewing a few beers from the box that Different artists for different. I think they've got like two different beers each, or maybe a few more. Cracking green cap, as you saw. So yeah, not sure the IBUs to this beer. None of these beers seem to have their their IBU count. So it's coming in a 330 ml bottle. Really enjoyed the beers I've had so far. Let that settle down a bit. Quite an aggressive pour. Two finger. Yeah, just off white, slightly kind of tinged lemon head. So into the light, yeah. Another hazy beer. Not, not. Um, I've had a lot hazier, of course, but then I've not poured the whole beer out into, from the bottle yet. So, but yeah, it's kind of a nice kind of yeah, medium orangey amber. Not amber, kind of yeah, orange colour really. Decent carbonation running up the side of the glass, just reinforcing the side of the head. Bigger bubbles on top there, popping quite quickly, settling down now. It's getting aroma then. <sighs> nice tropical fruit edge to this one. Yeah, kind of a, I don't know if it's mango, probably certainly pale stone fruit. Citrusy. Not too overpowering, but very kind of slight sweet edge to it as well. Got like a um, a biscuity malt, maybe like a, a rich tea biscuity, rather than a, that kind of brown hovis aroma. Mm. Smells gorgeous. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh wow. Nice and light. Very light. Not picking up any kind of hint of that 6.5% ABV. Mm. A nice aftertaste as well with the, the malts coming through. Kind of a, yeah, that more like a Hovis biscuit on, on the malts, on the taste, rather than on the aroma. Brown bread. Real juicy kind of fleshy peachiness coming through. Yum. Slightly kind of jammy as well. Like, yeah, or marmalade. It's got that kind of feel. So yeah, a lot more hazy now as it's bottle conditioned as you'd expect being a New England IPA or is that what they're calling it? Yeah, New England IPA. So a little bit hazier, um, not the kind of real kind of light um, juice bombs that you get these days. It's kind of a little bit more kind of malt going on in it, but yeah. Really nice, there's a slight cloud of excuse me, sediment just floating around this this side of the, the beer on my side, but as soon as I move it around it's just it's staying where it is. Excuse me, a little bit of carbonation which is good. Mm. A real real nice beer indeed. Real real nice beer. Yeah, a very nice beer. There is that now I've poured it in there's a slight 
slight kind of chalkiness, but the flavour is quite intense now that, that the last of the bottle's gone into the into the glass. So this beer was bottled on the 13th of October. Again, they're giving it a year shelf life. So I was saying I'm reviewing this on the 22nd of November. So about five weeks or so in the bottle and into my belly. So that's that's good. Um, 330 ml bottle. I've said about 100 times. Dry hopped with El Dorado, 6.5%. Uh, the the beer ingredients are water, hops, malted barley, oat flakes, wheat and yeast, the allergens, so yeah the allergens will be obviously malted barley, float, uh, flaked oats, wheats and gluten. Very nice indeed. Um, I love the artwork, brilliant. Excellent stuff. I'll put a link if I can find any information to the artists um, down below throughout all these videos. So. I like to promote the artist as well. Back to this then. It's a gorgeous one. It's a shame they're 500ml bottles. I'd love a 500ml. It's a shame they're not 500ml bottles. Get it right. Um, but yeah, great beer for me. 8.5 out of 10. That's that's kicking it. It's on, on the edge of a 9 for me. Um, or a 4 out of 5 on untapped, but I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 on untapped scale. 8 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Let me get this right. 8.5 out of 10. 4.25 on untapped. We got there. Right, let's have a look on untapped then. Uh, again, this beer was added on the 30th of October of 2017. It's had a total of 449 ratings and all in this month so 413 people have actually rated this beer it's coming out at 3.48 so that's a shade under seven again um, I'm giving it a, a, a better score than that um, but hey we've all got different palettes so just my opinion you know so let me know what you think about it anyway if you've had this this uh, November box from beer 52 let me know what you've had or what I've had compared to what you've had that'd be cool um, I'll just quickly go over a little bit of commercial description. I should have done this before, really, but hey ho. With the same malt and yeast base as this, as uh, this beer, the uh, Citra Haze. Um, this uh, opaque juice bomb is bursting with the incredible aromas of pear, watermelon, 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 and stone fruit that the El Dorado hop is also rightly famous for and that's the commercial description there it's a little bit more than uh, it's probably in the book that come with it but um, I'm just going and see what's straight on untapped so anyway I'm rabbiting on like I do 6.5% New England IPA El Dorado let me know if you've had this guys and girls thanks for watching then and I will see you on the next review cheers Is that going to stop? Nope. I'm definitely going now. Bye.